Welcome to Do the Math America. I am Charlene, the Math Shaman. Proportions are discussed on pages 83 and 84 of the A plus notes for beginning algebra. Please look in the description box below this video for a link to the PDF file, which you can use to print out a hard copy of this textbook for yourself. A proportion is formed by two equivalent ratios. In a proportion, we say that the given two ratios are equal or proportional. One half equals two fourths is a proportion. If two ratios are not equal, we say that the two given ratios are not proportional. One half and three fourths are not equal or not proportional. We cannot form them as a proportion. One half does not equal three fourths. To determine if two given ratios are equal or proportional, we use the following statement. Property of proportions. In a proportion, the cross products are equal. If A over B equals C over D, then A times D equals B times C. B and D in the denominators are non-zero numbers. Example, one half equals two fourths is a proportion because the cross products one times four equals two times two. Since 1 times 4 equals 4 and 2 times 2 equals 4. So 4 equals 4. Sometimes one of the four terms in a proportion is a variable. An equation is formed. 1 half equals n over 4. To find n in this proportion, we use equivalent fractions with a common denominator. For the fraction 1 half, we see that if we multiply the denominator by 2, we get 4. So if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get the equivalent fraction 2 fourths, which equals n over 4. So therefore, 2 equals n. Or if you prefer, n equals 2. And we box our answer. The other way of solving for n in this equation is by cross multiplying in the proportion. So 2 times n equals 1 times 4. Or 2n equals 4. Now we solve for n by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So on the left-hand side, the 2's cancel, leaving n, and on the right-hand side of the equation, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. n equals 2. Are the ratios 5 eighths and 15 twenty-fourths proportional? To solve this problem, we cross-multiply. So does 8 times 15 equal 5 times 24? If the answer is yes, then those fractions are proportional. So 15 times 8 equals 120. And now we do the calculation for 24 times 5. We do that calculation on the side away from the body of the problem so we can keep track of our calculations and we find that 24 times 5 does equal 120. So therefore since 120 equals 120, 5 eighths is proportional to 15 twenty fourths. Are the ratios 5 6 and 7 eighths proportional? So first we write down 5 6 and 7 8 and then we cross multiply. 6 times 7, does that equal 5 times 8? 6 times 7 equals 42, and 5 times 8 equals 40. 
since 42 does not equal 40, therefore 5, 6, and 7 eighths are not proportional. Solve n over 24 equal 5 eighths. So we cross multiply. n times 8 or 8 times n equals 24 times 5. And we do the calculation, 24 times 5 on the side, away from the main body of our problem, so that we can track our calculations. And we find that 24 times 5 equals 120. We write 120 underneath, 24 times 5 above. We write the equal sign underneath the equal sign from above, and we rewrite 8n from above. Now we are ready to solve for n by dividing 8n by 8. And whatever we do on one side of the equation, we must do on the other side of the equation. And on the right-hand side, we have 120 divided by 8. And we do that calculation on the side which we find equals 15. So on the left-hand side, the eights cancel, leaving n by itself. We rewrite the equal sign, and on the right-hand side, we have 15. n equals 15, and we box our answer. So 15 24ths is equal to 5 eighths. Solve 3 fifths equals x over 20. We cross multiply. 5x equals 3 times 20. 3 times 20 equals 60. So on the right hand side of the equation, we will write 60. And we will write the equal sign underneath the equal sign on top. And we copy down 5x once again. Now we are ready to isolate x by dividing both sides of the equation with 5. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Therefore, x equals 12. And we box our answer. Two pounds of cheese cost $7. How much do 5 pounds cost? So we set up the problem as 2 is to 7 as 5 is 2x, which writes out as 2 sevenths equals 5 over x. And now we cross multiply. 2x equals 5 times 7. 7 times 5 equals 35. So we have 2x equals 35. Now we isolate x by dividing both sides of the equation with 2. So on the left hand side, the 2's cancel, leaving just x. And on the right hand side of the equation, we have 35 divided by 2, which equals 17.5. Or you add a 0 after that 0.5, so that it's $17.50. And we box our answer. The exercises to study proportions are on page 84. I encourage you to do as many problems as you need to get a firm grasp of this material. And please check your answers with those in the back of the book to make sure you did the problems correctly. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more lessons on math, and please share this channel with anyone you know who wants to learn math. Thank you for joining me at Do the Math America.